Hey friends, I'm back and in this video I'm answering all of your questions about sharing your Canva templates. This is literally my second time recording this video for you guys. The first go around had some sound issues and I had to scrap the entire video. I literally wanted to flip everything over. However, we all know life is going to life and we just got to keep it moving. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Um, I've gained a lot of new subscribers since my last video, so I want to say hello and welcome to everybody. If this is your first time here, my name is Tisha, and I'm here to help you learn how to create and sell digital products using online tools. One of those ways is by creating and selling Canva templates. And in my opinion, creating and selling Canva templates is one of the easiest ways that you can get started selling digital products and start earning some extra coins because that's why we're all here, right? Right. So Canva's platform is actually pretty easy to learn and to use, making it great for first time users. Also, you don't have to be an expert graphic designer to create a Canva template and share it as a digital product. And you can create a template for just about anything. So let's go ahead and get ready to jump into these questions. Now I did break these up into three different categories because I did have some questions that were very similar. Those categories are generating your template link, editing the template, and sharing your template. So let's get into this first category about generating your template link. And this was one of the top questions that I received. A lot of you were having issues with your template link and most likely it's because you are generating the incorrect link. Canva has several link options in order to share your designs and I want to break down each one of those link options so you are aware of what they are so you know for sure that you are creating the correct template link. So let's head over to Canva so I can break this down for you. So from inside of the Canva editor to access the different links and different ways that you can share your design using a link, you want to go to the top right, click on share. One of the first ones that you will see is called the collaboration link. With this link, anyone can access and you can give them permission to view, comment, or edit the original design. The next type of link that you may come across is called the brand template link. This link is best used for if you are on a team and you need to create consistent branding across all of the designs that you create with inside of Canva. This would give you the option to edit the original design or create a copy and use that as a template. This is not the same as a template link. We're going to get to it. The next type of link that you would see is called the view only link and it's exactly that. If you use this link, your audience or whoever you share your design with can only view the link. They cannot make any type of changes. Now to make sure that you are sharing your design as a template link, you want to actually scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on where it says more, and you want to make sure that you are using the template link. As you can see, it says brand template and template link. You want to make sure that you are using the template link. So you want to click on that and then you want to copy this link. And I suggest saving this link somewhere where you have easily access to it and paste and save it. Or you will have to come back into Canva and continuously recreate this link. So basically, if it doesn't say template link, it is not the correct link to share your design as a template. The next question for this category, the person asks, I have a question about the template link from Canva. It looks too long. Can we make the link shorter or do we have to keep the original Canva link? Yes, you can actually make your Canva link shorter if you choose to do so. You will need to use a URL shortener tool. My go-to tool is bit.ly.com. You simply just copy the long link and it will generate a shorter link for you to share that link. So the next question for this category is when they get the template, they can edit the template or does it open like a new design on their page? So the template link allows your customer or whoever you share your template link with to open a new design and edit that design without making any changes to the original design that you created. This question asks, if the link says anyone can access, does that mean the customer can send the link to others? 
So the answer to this is a twofold question. First, if you see anyone can access, you're actually using the incorrect link. This is the collaboration link. You need to make sure that you're using the template link. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter which of the Canva template links that you generate, that person can share that link with anyone else. This question asks, before getting the template link to share to a separate PDF, should I save the template as a PDF, JPEG, etc.? It's not necessary to actually save your template link for a particular file format. Your file format type only matters if you actually plan to download your design. But since you are actually creating a template, you just need to create the design, generate that link so that your customers or whoever you share the link with can have access to the design. Now, I would recommend that you make sure that you name your templates, especially if you plan to create a lot of templates to sell. This will help you keep your templates organized. And the last question for this category, the person asks, do you need to have a Canva Pro account to sell editable videos? So to answer this, no, you don't need to have a Canva Pro account to create a template link. And it doesn't matter if you are creating video templates or static templates, you do not need to have a Canva Pro account. So let's get into this next category of editing your template designs. This category was also where I saw a lot of questions in regarding editing the template. A lot of questions um, were surrounding the fact that although you were generating the template link, you found that your customers were editing your original design. But now you know that if they have access to edit the original design, it is not the template link. So you want to make sure you are double checking that. I'm going to probably say that multiple times in this video. So the first question for this category, the person asks, when my customers purchase off of Etsy and follow the link, it asks them to request permission for me to edit the design. Once I grant permission, it's allowing them to edit the original and not make a copy. Again, you're not generating the template link. This sounds like you're probably using the brand template link and I can see how that can kind of be confusing because they both include the word template, but make sure that you're only using the template link. For this next question, the person asks, what can the customer edit when we share a template link? Can we choose what they can edit? So no, you can't really choose what they can edit um, unless you, no. I don't think you can choose what they can edit. Customers have access to edit everything that you add to that template. So they can change text, they can change colors, graphics, images, they can change all of that. Okay, so the next question, the person asks, can you lock elements you don't want them to be able to copy and use elsewhere? Technically, you can lock elements. However, the customer will have access to unlock them. So it really doesn't make sense to lock the element. I really like this question. The person asks, what if I would like to do some changes to my original template, but I already created a template link for the older version that's listed? Shall I create a new link or will it save my changes to the same template link? So you don't have to create a new link any updates or changes that you make to your template, anyone who already has your template link will have access to those changes. And the last question for this category, the person asks, what if you have Canva Pro elements in your template? Can anyone make changes to it or will they need to have a pro account? So you can include Canva Pro elements. Just keep in mind that the customer will need to have a Canva Pro account. I personally recommend not to include Canva Pro elements in your template designs because not everybody wants to upgrade to the Canva Pro account and this may cause issues with those type of customers or it just may not be a good experience for them. So I kind of recommend that you don't include them. You can, but it's not recommended. The next category that was very popular is about how to actually share your template link, especially as a digital product, because they need something to download. You can't just upload a link for someone to download. So to actually show you how to share your, your Canva template link, we're going to jump back into Canva and I'm going to show you how you can do that. 
So many of you guys wanted to know how do you actually share your Canva template link as a digital product. And the easiest way to do that is by creating a PDF document and embedding your template link inside of the PDF. So here is a PDF document that I created. I actually have this as a template in my store. So if you guys want to access this, I will leave a link down in the description box. So what you want to do is copy your template link, what I've already showed you how to do. Once you have your template link, you just want to highlight the area where you want to embed the template. So right now I have the text highlighted. Once you have it highlighted, you want to click on the three dots, scroll till you find link. And then you simply want to paste your link, hit enter. And then once you hit enter, hit done. And now your template link has been embedded into the PDF. If you want, you can go to the top and remove the underline. That's just a personal choice. You can do that. If you have multiple template links that you are sharing, you just want to make sure that you embed each template link that you are sharing in that particular PDF. And once you're done, you go to the top, click on share, click download, change the file type to PDF standard and hit download. So this is what the PDF download looks like. Your customer can click on the embedded link. And once they click on the link, it's going to take them directly to the Canva platform to edit. And it's going to say use template for a new design. And this is actually going to create a copy for them to edit and make changes and not make changes to the original design. So the next question about sharing your Canva template, the person asks, I guess my question is, how does the customer get the download? Like after they pay for it on Shopify, how do they download the instruction template? Now this will actually depend on the platform that you choose to sell your digital products. Some platforms will allow the customer to log in and download the PDF directly from the platform. Other platforms will email the PDF for them to download from their e email inbox. I would re recommend doing a test purchase so you can see that process for yourself. So just in case if a customer has a question, you'll be able to answer that question. Okay, so the next question the person asks, is there a way to protect your template link in design from people sharing the link to others? Um, unfortunately, the answer to this is no. Even when you generate your template link, Canva tells you, um, you won't know who has made copies of your design. So there's not a way to do a hard stop or block somebody from sharing. Uh, you could possibly deter people from doing this by including some type of legal disclaimer or license usage or terms and conditions of what they can and cannot do with your template link in designs. Okay, so that was actually the last question. So the two big things that I want you guys to walk away from this video from is making sure that you have the correct link to share your design as a template. This will resolve a lot of the issues that you guys are having. And the second thing is don't be afraid to test out your links. You can test your links by sharing them with your friends and they can give you some feedback. Um, for me personally, I have a Canva Pro account and a Canva Free account and I use my free account to test out my template links to ensure that I don't have any pro elements and that my customers are accessing what I need them to access. So hopefully this video has answered all of your questions. If you still have more questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Also, let me know what videos that you want to see to help you get started with digital products. Until next time, friends, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.